G'day viewers, I thought I'd give you a bit more info about what I think are the guidelines for successful internet dating, because one tip won't get you all the success you're looking for. First up, one for the fellas. Think about what it is you actually want in a woman, and be specific. Now, breathing and will do it with me isn't going to get you very far. So, think about it. Seriously, are the politics important? If it is, say so. Can you cope with a smoker? If not, point that out. How about if they're a vegetarian? Are you going to give up steak and hamburger? Think these things through and say what's important to you. And if you're playing the field, don't spin some crap about looking for your soul mate. Just be upfront about it. And don't try and be overly smooth either, because it simply won't work for everyone. No pickup line is universal. What seems really smooth to one person is going to seem really dorky to another. So if a line isn't really you, it's a waste of time using it. And here's one for the ladies. This is actually some secret men's business. The guys are going to get really pissed off at me for telling you this one, but I think it's important. Men will do almost anything for sex. I just get amazed that there are women out there who think they have to put out straight away or the guys aren't going to be interested in. Hey, put now it's great. It's a part of a relationship. But when I read articles like of really young girls who are apparently giving blowjob to other like teenage guys because the guys won't like them if they don't, those guys would crawl five miles over broken glass for half a sniff of a blowjob somewhere down the line. They're bullshitting you, okay? Seriously, trust me. The bloke who says he won't stick around unless you have sex with him is the bloke who's going to piss off the minute you do have sex with him. God, I sound like my mother. Here's a unisex rule. Both genders should follow this evenly. When you're doing the profile thingy on those internet dating sites, don't lie. If you're overweight, say so. Put your real age, your real height, because nothing will kill a date stone dead quicker than it becoming blindingly obvious that your profile was a complete lie. You might as well not waste the time. Give the goods up front, square and even, and take it from there. Oh, and those scary bloody photos they seem to do in the shopping malls that they call glamour. Don't use them. They're freaky. Half the time you look horrible in them anyway, all plastic and not real and not at all appealing. And the ones that do look good, when someone looks at them, they recognise it for what it is. They know you don't look like that, okay? It puts people off. It's freaky. Don't use those photos. Another unisex rule. If you're not interested, say so. Don't be a jerk about it, but be honest. Yeah, even sugarcoat it a little, like, hey, I don't think things would work out between us. You don't have to say, hmm, that hair growing out your ears freaked the hell out of me. Although if someone does have hair growing out their ears, it might be worth telling them to trim the hedges. No one likes that stuff. And if somebody does say to you they're not interested, or they don't want another date, or they stand off, accept it. Move on. Don't fool yourself that, ooh, they're just playing hard to get. Don't get whiny or needy or, God forbid, stalkery over the whole thing. And you know what? If they are playing coy, trying to string you along, screw that. No one needs that. Everyone should be up front, and everyone should accept it when someone's up front with them. Life would be a lot simpler if there weren't these stupid games going on. 